In the next tweet, you said, I think travel ball coaches need to have a come to Jesus moment every once in a while and decide why they are doing what they're doing. Because last time I checked, it's not about you. But when you realize that, I sound like such a sassy, like, <laughs> but it's honest. It's honest. It's honest. Mm -hmm. Um, my feelings are that is I deal with, I guess, and I don't get too detailed because I'm not trying to stir any pots or anything, but I just see so many people and coaches like make so many things like about them and how many players they're sending to college and who's on their team or what, what sponsorship they get or what they've done for people and what, like, it's just so about them and they just me, yeah. me, 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 me me I've accomplished this I've made this much money and it's just like what are you doing and you're mm -hmm. you've stopped working for the player and you've stopped and not to like I'm new and I'm not perfect and I get it but I just don't I can't wrap my hand or my head around that being the way that you run your team I just can't I don't get it mm -hmm. like why are you not working your butt off instead of getting players that are going to make your name better or talk to people and say, well, I've sent this many people to college. Like, why is that the first thing you lead with? Because they want to be worshipped. Right. And like, they want people to come there. And like, I'm just like, oh my gosh, what about you just like doing the right thing? Or just like saying like, I've emailed this many coaches every single weekend for every single one of my players because it is my full-time job. Like, that's something you can talk about other than, well, I've sent this girl and, oh, this college coach texted me today. Oh, and this one texted me. Oh, we're on a talking bait. Like, I cannot tell you. That is something where. Oh, yeah. You don't have to tell me, girl. I know. I know you do. I totally know. I just, God, I just, it drives me up the wall. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. I think for, for any coaches, like, watching, it's. Don't look at this as like a bash, bash session, like take a, a good look in the mirror and pay attention to kind of like what's coming out of your mouth and how you're presenting yourself out in the world. Cause I'll tell you this too, like the college coaches are not dumb. No, they, they, they are know. so not dumb. They know, and they know, they know. who, and they know, they know if you're a phony. They yeah. They know what they can say to you. They know what they don't share with you. Like they, they do know and they watch. Mm -hmm. if, if they're not liking your tweets, that doesn't mean they don't see them. Like, and if they're not liking videos of your, they see every single one of them and they listen and they observe and they, I don't know. And they know that you can read a room and know when to approach them and know when to, uh, to approach them. And I don't know, they do know, they all know. Yeah. Just everybody. I think every, not just like coaches, players, parents, like check yourselves. Like how am I behaving mm -hmm. right now? Mm -hmm. Am I treating people with, with kindness and respect? And if, if you're not, then it might be time to kind of like change. Or, and or just, then, and then for those people, like in those circles, like you have to keep those people accountable. Like, no, it's not okay for you to talk to my child that way. Yeah. Right. And it's not okay, but it's not in like, it's so hard because then it's, it's like, well, the parent, like yeah, they yeah, think yeah. they're above the parents. And so it needs to be someone that's like in charge of if they can have a team here or not, mm -hmm. you know, it's, I don't know. I, there's so many different angles you could take it's, it. It's it. tricky because all of it's unregulated. So right. with it being kind of like the wild, wild west, there's like, <laughs> you know, no softball police. Right. Uh, right. Making sure like Joe Schmo knows what the hell he's talking about. Yeah. And you, you, it's, that's how yeah. the market is. And that's why right. these sources of fr frustration come out. And you have these situations where kids aren't being treated like they should 
um, or, and, or coaches not being treated as they should and parents, it's like, it's all unregulated. It's all. Right. And, and even if these, these coaches have, they don't have a daughter on the team anymore, or they have had a daughter, most of them have all had some sort of family member that played softball and that's why they're here, right? They are coaching because their daughter started to play softball and they have learned throughout the years and they have decided to coach softball. But I just think if they just thought for one second, if their daughter was being spoken to that way or their daughter was being coached that way or their daughter had experienced something like that, I wonder how differently they would start to speak to other daughters because you had one and you have one. It's just like, I can't imagine if you were on the outside and your daughter was being coached this way. Wow. Sometimes my dad did not talk to me so kindly. <laughs> I, 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 so. I mean, that you get, but I'm saying when things are so like, not just like being hard because it's your daughter, but like yeah. getting hung up on and being told that they are the worst softball player on the whole team or said, you're not worth it. You're not worthy here. Goodbye. Like those kinds of things. Like I just can't imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, you know, Fred, Fred wasn't always, uh, every dad is going to treat their daughter a little bit more harshly, yeah. but yeah. at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fred got crazy. Yeah, sometimes. totally. 